been here since I was 16, 25 years. With education, slowly you start learning that it's opinion, it's a perspective besides your perspective. You can live three weeks without food. You can live three days without water. You can't live three minutes without hope. It's amazing that in Texas, we have this long-standing degree-granting university program in an in a prison. I mean, that it is very unique. One of the ways that the University of Houston Clear Lake is ahead of the learning curve is the offering of master's degrees behind bars. That's something that there are either one or two programs in the country that offer graduate degrees. Education has given me a new outlook on life, as well as made this time of incarceration a benefit to me. I wanted to ask you, you know, out of all the material that we cover, you know, I would like to know, you know, what was most significant to you and why was it so significant? Well, there was so much material. <laughs> I mean, so much. Yeah, I've been, I've been in the house for like a week. They're probably my only students. These are students who are incarcerated who say, could you please give us the entire text? We want to read the entire work of Discipline and Punish or uh, Madness and Civilization. And they grapple with it and they wrestle with it and they work so hard at understanding it. So their dedication sort of gives meaning to all that we do. They truly want to learn. I thought about this question pretty much every day and every night for the last week. I knew that I could escape, I guess you could say, get a taste of normalcy, dealing with people who weren't, you know, living in that environment and were corrupted mentally by that environment and being able to have dialogues that aren't confined to the things that are going on within that environment was probably the biggest gift that I got from it. They're coming back to society as deeply reformed, deeply thoughtful, introspective, and kind people, people who have literally found their sense of themselves. I mean, what's the majority of the population? The graduates from our program at both the bachelor's and master's level have taken such varied positions as counselors at substance abuse and halfway houses, offices within the Texas governmental system. Here at the university, we've had students who've taken full-time positions here. So the effects and benefits of prison education manifest themselves both at a community level as well as on a statewide basis. But what choices am I making on the day-to-day? -day? Across the board, Studies of correctional education have demonstrated a remarkably consistent reduction in recidivism, as much as 50% in some cases to an untraceable amount at the master's level. A literally fractional amount of students with master's degrees return to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. In closing, I would like to share with you a quote from Dr. Martin Luther King that has continually brought me encouragement during this prison experience. The ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. Thank you for your time.